In this video we're going to talk about exposure. So what is exposure? It's the state of being exposed to contact with something or the act of instance of being uncovered or unprotected. In photography what are we exposing? We're either in the pinhole camera, the light sensitive paper, or film in older cameras. In the digital camera we're exposing the CCD. It's a little image sensor. You can see an image there on the screen and we're exposing this to light. So in these there's five exposures here. The one on the right is more exposed, the one on the left is less exposed. So more light was allowed to hit the one on the right and less light was allowed to hit the one on the far left. The most exposed one again is the one that had light for 15 seconds on the right. It's too bright. This is called overexposed. The photo on the left is underexposed. These are both way overexposed. Too much light. These are underexposed. Too little light. Notice though in this one that there's an area on the image that is properly exposed. You can see the trees and everything has enough light there, but the rest of the image is underexposed and in this picture that was probably not the intended result. Now you don't always, just because it's underexposed, doesn't mean that's not what you wanted. Here the photographer wanted a silhouette of the person. He's underexposed and this works. It's properly exposed over here in terms of being able to see what's in the picture, but getting the silhouette was a purposeful underexposure of part of the image. So what controls exposure? light, the amount of light that's in the scene, and what can we do about that? We can add or remove light, move the subject into the sun, add lights, use a flash, take away lights, turn off the flash. We can control how much light is hitting the scene, hitting the subject. But if we can't control the amount of light, what can we do with the camera? If you remember with pinhole cameras, we have a light tight box, so nothing's getting in there. Inside it you have the paper that we're exposing to light and there are two elements letting light in. There's a hole that lets light through and there's a shutter or a little flap that covers that hole that controls when and how long light gets to gets exposed to the uh, sensor in the back. So there's the two main controls for exposing your image. It's the hole and the flap. The flap is called the shutter. So how would you expose more or less light using the shutter? Longer, you'd make more exposed, and shorter, less exposed. So if you hold that shutter open, or that flap open, for a long time, obviously there's a lot more exposure to light happening there. If you just open it up for a short period of time, less exposure. The hole, punched into the tin foil or the lens of a camera, the hole is called the aperture and using that we could expose more or less light by making a bigger hole is more exposed and making a smaller hole is less exposed. In cameras, if you have the camera set to auto, what's happening in terms of exposure? When you're on auto, the camera determines how much light the sensor needs for a correct exposure. It's making its best guess what a correct exposure is. So then the camera determines how long the shutter should be open and the size of the aperture. Cameras can control the size of that hole. In the pinhole camera we couldn't control it and you wouldn't want to because it needs to be a small hole to be in focus. But in all other cameras the aperture size can change. And on auto if it determines it needs more light it will automatically use the flash if there's one built in. So in summary, exposure in photography is the act of allowing light to hit the sensor or the film or the photo paper, whatever is the light sensitive thing recording the image. If you're overexposed, you let too much light hit the sensor. If you're underexposed, you let too little light hit the sensor and your image is too dark. The shutter is one way to control the light hitting the sensor and that can be open longer 
to allow more exposure or shorter to allow less exposure. Then you have the aperture, the hole that is letting light through when the, aperture, when the shutter is open. And a smaller aperture lets in less light and a larger aperture lets in more light and will create more exposure.